Let's trade. Let me have some workers' clothes. Here. This is all I can spare. Thanks. I'll remember this. I want to make a bet. Fabulous. What do you want to gamble on? I'll fight Ricardo and win. Well, that's not too hard a prospect. Lousy odds, so your winnings won't be great. I challenge you to a fight in the arena. You think because I'm a guard, I'm soft. Your mistake. All right, then, you bastard. Yeah! I'm sticking to guard duty from now on. That makes me feel safe. Bastard.
Ricardo's made of rice paper and spit. You'll find tougher. Here, your winnings. I want to make a bet. I'll fight Lorenzo in the arena. That'll be worth watching. How about we sort out our differences in the arena? A show fight? Why not? It'll get me out of this place for a while. Time to... gonna talk to me a bit nicer from now on. Fuck off. You beat him fair enough. And to the victor, the spoils. Your winnings. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face you in the arena. There's gold on the table. How can I refuse? Let me know when you want this to start. I want to fight you. Right now. Well, that sounds serious. Meet me in the arena. The arena is the only place we'll fight. Got that? And if you leave the arena during the fight, you lose. May the worthiest fighter win.
Now you die! You think it'll be one-sided? Let's find out. I want to make a bet. Now you die! Ah! You think it'll be one-sided? Let's find out. I want to make a bet. I'm ready to face Domingo in the arena. Now nah, there's a fight should bring in some wages. Good luck. Let's try a few rounds in the arena. Are you that keen to get a kick in? Not interested. You're not worth my time. You chicken, Domingo. You a big, fat, feathery piece of poultry. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Here, have a swig of this. Ah, that's the good stuff right there. So, how about the arena? Go on then. A beer. Someone to punch. Life doesn't get much better. You're clearly a man of simple tastes. Time for a little ah. lesson. Ah. Ah. Ah! Ah! 
Time for a little lesson. Okay, so you ain't bad, you ain't bad. I'll give you that. But your technique is all over the place. Domingo will have learned to respect you. 
Your win took him by surprise. And me. Here, your winnings. I don't like paying out. But you did what you bet you'd do. Nobody will face me in the arena. That's one of the biggest compliments they can pay you. Yes, but I haven't faced Brogar. Ah, that's a different world altogether. Brogar won't fight just for the hell of it. His position in camp is built on his brawn and his ruthlessness. He can't afford for anyone to beat him in combat. It'd weaken his power, so he's wary, as you should be. I know what I'm doing. You'd better. What have you got to trade? What have you got to trade? Dead before he hit the ground. Mind, his brain was dead a long time before that. It was a damn good blade. I want to make a bet. I think I can beat Brogar in the arena. I think he'd turn you into paste. But first you'd have to get him to fight you. That's hard enough. I'll find a way. By the way, Brogar, I challenge you to fight me in the arena. You ain't worth the walk. I fought and defeated all your fighters. Will you face me now, or are you a coward? Show a little respect, little fish. I'll fight you. Maybe that way I can teach you some respect. Ah! <laughs> 
You're ready for this! Ah. Not bad. I'm impressed. Stay in my good books and I can make something of a scrapper like you. I think I can make something of myself. You get too cocky with people, it'll be a grave you're making for yourself. Feeling a bit more humble now, Brogar. Okay, okay, I'll quieten things down. But I think before you rat on me, the rats in this swamp get their necks wrung. The threats don't work so well when you're looking so bruised. Listen, you wanna fight. Doesn't make you invincible. Let Sam go hunting. Okay, okay. Aren't you the soft-hearted one? Hey, I took the liberty of lifting that piece of the sword blade from you. You thieving bastard. Rob a man when he's down, would you? You'd have done the same to me, Brogar. I've gathered the pieces of the golden sword. You must have a gift persuading people to give them to you. You should take them to Oscar. Of course, if he agrees to reforge the sword, 
You then have to persuade him to give you the sword back. You can stop worrying about Brogar. I've dealt with him. You're quite something. With him gone, I just hope the Don will find his old self again. But that's me talking about us, and I get the sense you've already outgrown us. You've got a spirit of adventure. This swamp isn't going to be good enough for you. Well, guess I'd better get back to my own work, eh? Good luck with wherever you go. Brogar went down. You beat him. You really beat him. We're all human. Brogar? Human? Ha! <laughs> well, here are your winnings. One thing. Brogar won't let this lie. I know. I now have all the pieces of the sword blade. I was right. It is a beautiful piece of work. Good job it has me to return some life to it, eh? And you still stand in there staring at me? Supposes I owe you some sort of reward? Come back when I've finished the sword. I'll show you what a true craftsman can make. Here, from the ashes comes the phoenix, eh? Fucking beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Isn't it? Give it back to me now. You don't want to scratch that. Thanks. It has a good balance. Here you go. Yeah. The Don is going to be one happy man when he claps his peepers on this. If I wanted the sword, what would it cost me? What would you want with this? It's for the Don. Now I'll get you. You want to use this as your way to see him. How much? You couldn't afford this. How much? All right. 200. There's a lot of effort went into that. Two hundred gold coins. All right, give me the sword. Who did you steal that pile from? All right, here's the sword. But you make sure you tell the Don who made it, all right? What have you got to trade? Who could teach me to pick locks? Now who could teach me to pick locks? Oh, let a girl sleep, huh? About your camp. I've got everyone back to work on the tasks you'd given them. Well, you're not like everyone else around here, are you? I'm impressed. There has to be more that needs doing. Single-minded, aren't you? No, but here's something as a thanks. Hopefully this camp will run a little smoother from now on. You don't have to worry about your food supplies anymore. Sam is back out hunting. So I heard. You've got a knack for this. Here, take this gold. Don't spend it too quickly. I heard the Don was interested in a sword, a golden sword. Well, I've got it. Are you serious? So you actually found all the pieces? That's amazing, you can't even tell it was broken. Oscar certainly knows his metals. Surely this is enough to get me an audience with the Don. Are you kidding? He'll probably divorce me and marry you. I'm guessing that means I can go in. By the way, you were right. Brogar folded. Thank you. That will help calm things for now. Don't worry, that's not an end to it. 
When he's least expecting it, I'll slip something in his food. I know poisons that will work slowly to turn a person inside out over several weeks. Hmm. I might just stay away from your cooking in the future. Here, you've earned a reward. Oh, and one more thing. Don't let Esteban know about this. He'd just blame me. I'm not interested in getting you in trouble. Now that's out of the way, I'd better get back to work. Thanks for all your help. You find anything else? Let me know. Craig is running a betting ring. He knows Esteban doesn't like that kind of thing. It just ends up with the men arguing. This could be the spark that sets everything off. Go and tell Craig I said to stop it if he knows what's good for him. I need a place to sleep. Hmm. Take Brogar's hut. I don't think anyone's going to dispute your right to it. Well, I arrived here with just a mouthful of sand. So a shack in the swamp is a step up, I suppose. I told Rachel about your bets. Are you out of your mind? What? I didn't know it was such a big deal. Big deal? The Don has forbidden gambling, especially for gold. But I thought everyone... You didn't think at all. You better go back to Rachel and straighten this out. Your problem. Looks like you're moving on, Brogar. The Don's given me your hut. You better watch your step, little fish. Cause as soon as you stumble, my blade will be waiting. Yeah, yeah. Don't think I won't be ready for you. You won't see me coming, little fish. Anything new to tell me? I don't think Craig will stop the betting ring. So, he thinks he can ignore me. We'll see about that. Craig won't be doing any more betting. Here, a few coins for your help. I want to make a bet. So you collect your winnings and tell Rachel about our little scheme? I thought better of you. I'm closing the book on you for good. Stop where you are. You ain't going another step closer to the Don. Rachel says I can talk to the Don. Really? And I'm just supposed to believe you, eh? Shall I bring her here? I'm sure she'd be delighted to know her orders aren't being followed. Yeah, yeah. All right. I get the picture. Go in. But don't annoy him, or Rachel will be serving up both our guts for lunch. You might want to talk to the Don before you speak to me. Unless the Don send you with business, I don't have time for you. Gold and water. The secret treasures of the desert. Boom banger bang. The worst failures in alchemy.
Is it your habit to walk into places unannounced? Who are you? I know who you are. The Don. Somehow I'd expected more. Time may be conspiring against me, but don't doubt that I deserve my reputation. I am still the man you have heard of. Then why do you cower in here? Letting others take your island from you? Cower? The bear that sits in his cave isn't cowering. He's biding his time. But you, you have walked into this cave with no knowledge of what may happen. Boldness is a quality, but rashness will get you killed. I have brought you the sword you were searching for. Hmm. This is Oscar's work. I can see that right away. We both sought this sword since we heard of it. Now here it is in my hands. Here. You deserve a little gold for bringing this to me. Pride gets eaten alive in this damn swamp. It gets swallowed by anger, poisoned by idleness. Sometimes I think Fincher is the only man jack of them left with any self-worth. And Fincher told me that you have pride. But do you have substance? I am in need of pride. So I shall give you a chance to prove yourself, Castaway. I'd like to know more about what's happening here. Why are you and your men in this swamp? The Inquisitor has his claws stuck deep into the flesh of this island. A firm grip on the harbor town and the monastery. Well, that's what he thinks. And that's what others see. The Inquisition's numbers growing. Men dragged into his service. What I see is a man making enemies. A man wasting his strength against the creatures in the ruins. So we wait here, the spider in the corner of the web, and we bide our time. What is the Inquisitor looking for in the temple ruins? The white robes take everything they discover to the monastery, and there the mages are working to unlock some secret. This much I do know. So far, they've avoided this temple. But for how much longer? What was it like before the Inquisitor was here? Corrupt, as any land ruled from the mainland. Governor after governor bleeding the people, courting favor. When their men, the garrison, were withdrawn to the mainland, we were ready. I took control. In the name of the people, the brothels were clean, the prices fair. Men had dignity, pride. Then the earth shook, the temple ruins rose and the Inquisition and all their ways came after them. Why here? Of all the places they could have gone, why did they come here? The Inquisitor is hiding something from us, but I shall find a secret, and in the meantime, I shall strip as much as I can from those ruins with gold. With gold, you can fight power. Do the White Robes attack you and your men? Right now, they are avoiding open war. But if they don't find what they're searching for elsewhere, I'm sure we can expect their eyes to turn to us. What do you plan to do? I want my town back. It is our town. It belongs to the people of this island, not the mainland. For that reason, I left some of my men there when we withdrew. Gathering intelligence, frustrating the plans of the Inquisition. They were supposed to be sending me information that I've heard little recently. These aren't times when plans run smoothly. How can I help you? Find out what is happening in Harbor Town. Find my men. I have no idea if my men are alive, imprisoned, dead, or worse, if they have defected. Go there. Discover the truth for me. What are the names of your men in Harbor Town? No, no, I don't trust you well enough for that. Go to the town and find them. And if you don't, and you are captured, Without names, there is still a chance they can stay free. I won't put my men in danger. How do I get into Harbor Town without being seen by the Inquisition? The town's rear gate is guarded by the Old Town Watch. They are men without a master, and their loyalty can be bought with a little gold. When everyone is corrupt, in gold you trust. 
about your pile of gold? You will be paid your due. Or was there more to that question than greed? Nothing. It was just a question. Hmm. So even you have secrets to keep. I am willing to go to the town for you. Good. Go and find if my people are still loyal. Uh, one more thing. Yes. The Inquisitor. Gather all the information you can about him. Here in this hole, I am deaf and blind. I have to know what that fanatic is planning. For my people. For my island. So, the Don's giving you a chance. Yes. Lucky you. Lucky me. I know what it looks like, him skulking in that temple. Let me give you some advice. Don't underestimate him. He's just waiting for the right time. This island is the Don's, and he's going to take it back. What do you do for the Don? I take care of things for him. Keep an eye on people. Right now, that mostly means the Inquisition, these white robes. These excavation sites are on our island. What right of the Inquisition to take everything? If you're not going to let them take you, you best get yourself some training. Are you expecting the Inquisition to attack you? They're building up their forces, pushing closer every day. It's only a matter of time before they try and overrun us. What do you mean they're taking everything? They're everywhere. A group of them even settled not far from the swamp in the southeast. They've been looting the temple ruin that shot out of the ground there. If we could capture that outpost, it would keep them off us for a little longer. Give those beasts chance to whittle down their numbers. Why haven't you captured it? Who is supposed to keep the white robes away? Brogar and his fighters. Brogar won't risk himself. Brogar is out to look after himself. He won't risk himself or his men. Hmm. And who, in your opinion, should lead his fighters? I'll do it. You will. No one else here is doing anything. Someone needs to lead. It's time for action. All right, go. Tell the fighters I send you. Lead that attack. And get those white robes off our backs. What can I do for you? Perhaps some healing? You're a mage, and you serve the Don. Someone has to take care of the boys here. It falls to me to do so. It's an honor, and it allows me to do what I need to. The boys here are a little exuberant, but we have an arrangement. I heal them, and they leave me to carry out my studies in peace. You study? Certainly. There is much to discover here. Like, for example, the magic barrier in the lower vaults. What magic barrier? They were clever, the builders of this place. They did not rely on just iron and stone to keep people out. They knew the power of magic, too. If you ever venture deeper into the temple, you'll find that out. And this isn't the only place on the island they protected with magic. What can you tell me about the monastery? It was a place of reflection and study. A place of meditation. Now, though, it is little more than a brutal training ground for the Inquisitor. Where once silence and thought reigned, now there is the sound of quarterstaffs clashing as the Order's warriors practice. But there are those there who remain studious, who keep the Order's knowledge. Is there anyone there who will share this knowledge? Hmm. You could try Master Illuma. He teaches scroll-making. Simple magic it may be, but it would be a good idea not to underestimate the power of scrolls. Thank you. I will talk to him if I see him. I would. You won't regret it. What can you offer for healing? Ah, I have potions to ease your wounds. I'm well versed in the art of alchemy and prepare all potions myself. What must I do to acquire the skills needed in magic? That path leads you to the harbor town. I think you should start your search for magic there. Do you have things to sell?
By the way, don't worry. I didn't tell your husband about the business with Brogar. Thank you. Like I said, he'd only blame me. Take this. It's all I can spare, but loyalty should be rewarded. I wish it could be bought. I'm not a smith. 